Hey everyone, it's Shay. Wanted to take a moment to show you the latest Kate Spade setup that I have. I currently use a personal planner for my purse and was using the Kiki K and I really, I really love my Kiki K. But it was becoming quite bulky, so I wanted to try something slim, chic, and loved how the Kate Spade just looks with the zip around. My main planner is an Erin Condren, but again, I use this for my purse, um, on the go, quick planning, and just wanted to show you guys my setup. Inside, uh, many people use this as a wallet. That is something that I just hadn't gotten to yet, but we'll see what happens. Inside, have the older model. Love, love, love the polka dots. Pink is one of my favorite colors. And I also wanted an older model because the rings are just much sturdier and durable. The new planners, the rings, um, I even went to the outlet and just saw a whole bunch of gaps, so I knew I wanted the older model. Inside my pocket, I have some stickers I um, accumulated over the many years. These are my fave on-the-go planning stickers. I get these from Michaels. I think they're simple stories, and I'll link everything below. And that, I just put it behind that pocket there. All of these little pockets, I have washi for my on-the-go planning page flags, and then the rest are just Project Life cards. Love the eyeglasses, and it matches my dashboard also well. Behind here, I got a cute little stencil, and again, I'll link everything below that I'll use for quick planning on the go. Made the dashboard myself, love eyeglasses, and just love the colors match quite well with my planner. Behind here, some, sorry, sticky notes. And then these are the Kiki, or excuse me, the Kate Spade inserts, 2016-17, um, which great quality. So much crafting inserts. I like um, an academic year because I'm in education, just works better for me. So I'll use this and begin to use this once school starts with my PD days and work days and things like that. My dividers are from Happy Place Planning. I love them. They're adorable, and I like the contrast of the polka dots with the, the stripes, so I definitely wanted to get these. This is also from So Much Crafting, an insert printable from her blog, free. So grab that if you would like. I find that having the holidays really helps my planning, especially around the school. My first tab is monthly. So much crafting inserts. I hadn't began yet, but I will. I'm here soon. So those are just the monthly. My next is the weekly. And because I use my Erin Condren, I really decorate and just take time with that one here. This is just a very quick setup. Um, washi tape, page flags for some documents of things I'm doing this week. And then a lot of just pens and fonts and things like that. Keeping this very, very simple. Um, because, again, I spend a lot of time in my Erin Condren. My next tab is the Today tab. Uh, um, here's my daily to-do. Count blessings, practice kindness, let go of what I can't control, listen to my heart, be productive yet calm, and just breathe. And then more inserts from So Much Crafting that I'll use if I really have a jam-packed day and just want to have something at a glance. Next is my Spending tab. And here in my spending, I have like daily spending, online purchases, and saving challenge. And I use these uh, target page flags to like mark and separate. My monthly budget is so much crafting inserts, the monthly view on two pages, where I document how much money I spend every day. And then the dots shows no money being spent. I take the mason jars and then I add up the money I spent for the week so I can just get a weekly glance of where I'm staying. My goal is to try to stay around 500 each month for just like personal um, bills or items, hair appointments, things like that that I like to do. So that is that. Next are my online purchases where I use the stars that I have to document when they're sent and then when I receive them the 52 week challenges, and then I have like some personal house budgets and saving trackers. One of the main reasons I use this planner is for my meal planning. There's just no space for me for my Erin Condren. I'm practicing the whole 30. So here's just the basic outlines right now of 
what I can eat, what I can't have, and then the inserts from so much crafting of the breakfast, lunch, dinner snacks that I use to document everything. Really, really enjoy having these. And I also like here in the back of my, on the menu so I can plan, get my grocery list, take this, have it in my purse and use it at the grocery store. In the back is notes. I have my cleaning zones. I live in a town home, so this has been modified for me and my home, but really enjoy having cleaning zones and then able to see what I need to clean just by knowing the zone. Some additional note pages from Kate Spade. Again, their inserts are fabulous, also nice and thick, so I'll probably use these more in the future. Dollar spot paper just cut down and trimmed, and then so much crafting, dot grid and graph paper for notes. In the back, if I decide to use this as a wallet, I went ahead and got this little insert for cards. Um, if I don't, may just put some of my favorite Etsy stores in here. I hadn't decided yet. And then I made this cute little folder that I'll use for maybe receipts and things like that. Quick recipes that I find. Um, just made it. Took all of five minutes. In the back, of uh, Erin Condren pen and just a cute little card that matches everything. So... That is my lovely, lovely, lovely Kate Spade setup. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, I'll link everything below. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.